Honor is back in the game with their smartphones, with Google services in their smartphones and I think that the Magic 4 Pro is one of the best Android phones right now on the market. I'm Alex and today we're going to take a look at this beast and see how it performs. Here we have a very nice glass design with a teeny tiny aluminum frame in the middle between the back panel and the front panel. This phone comes at 215 grams which is not one of the lightest that you can see but of course it is a very big one so you have to expect this weight. One of the things that I want to talk about the design is mainly because of the glass back. Even that this is a 6.81 inch huge phone it is very slippery because of the glass and this is another thing that I have to warn you. I like how the buttons are positioned on the Honor Magic 4 Pro even that this is a very tall phone you have a very nice positioning of the volume rockers and the power button these have a very nice click so you won't miss them for sure I like how with my medium sized hand I can use this phone without any issues I can volume up volume down or unlock my phone without any problems and I have to give a point to Honor for positioning the buttons very good at the bottom part we have a USB 3.1 type C port and also we have the SIM card tray here you can fit two SIM cards and uh, don't think about an expansion slot for the memory you don't have such thing also on the right side you will find one of the two stereo speakers which in my opinion are one of the best that you can see right now in the android market on the top side you can find the other stereo speaker also you can find an ir blaster which ir blaster can be used for controlling your multimedia at home for controlling your ac or things like this which are controlled with a remote control here you can use the magic 4 pro for such thing and i find it to be very convenient I find it to be very useful in my case. The front side of the Magic 4 Pro is entirely taken by the 6.81 inch LTPO OLED screen with a very nice resolution and a very nice refresh rate of 120 Hz. Because this panel is an LTPO type it means that it can control the refresh rate of the screen while browsing through different content so it will be saving a little bit of battery and it won't be running on 120 Hz all the time uh, if you are for example browsing in a Google Docs uh, sheet or if you're doing some things in the settings it won't be using uh, that much power because it will lower the frame rate it will ramp up the frame rate if you're going to game if you're going to watch some content with a higher refresh rate but otherwise it will try to save you the battery the thing that I can say about the screen is that here we have very nice colors because of this OLED panel here we have 1 billion colors here we have great contrast great color accuracy so you can color grade your video you can color grade your photos for your social media because I know many people are now into YouTube shorts, Instagram reels and TikTok so you can grade your videos just right on the phone. The other great thing is that it feels very nice in gaming because of this 120 hertz and I have absolutely no issues while playing Diablo Immortal. Everything was buttery smooth and I cannot complain at all. The only thing I can complain about the screen of this phone is actually with the brightness because here we have a 1000 nits of peak brightness and we know that in the premium segment of the Android phones and in iPhones we have higher brightness we have something like uh, 1300 1400 peak brightness but here we have only 1000 even that this screen is only 1000 nits I can absolutely see it under a harsh sunlight without any problem but I wanted to see it a little bit brighter a great addition to a great screen are great speakers because when you're watching some videos playing some games you're going to ramp up the volume of the phone if you're not using headphones here you have an amazing pair of stereo speakers which in my opinion are one of the best in the premium class in the android segment here the only speakers that can compare to these are the ROG phone speakers and the S21 Ultras from Samsung. We have a very loud sound, we have very nice and crispy highs, we have balanced mids and we have quite a bassy speakers. This is not something very common to have quite bassy speakers if you are not an iPhone user. I have to say that these are pretty close to the iPhone speakers but pretty close not on the same level the iphone 13 pro max still has the best speakers in the game i haven't heard any other phone with better than this nonetheless these are going to serve you very well if you're watching some video content on youtube if you're watching something on netflix uh, disney plus paramount or whatever streaming platform you're using you're going to like the sound very much i can guarantee you this hardware wise the magic 4 pro is uh, also on the good side here we have qualcomm's new snapdragon 8 gen 1 which is a 4 nanometer processor 
Also, we have 8 gigabytes of RAM and 256 gigs of storage. The storage, by the way, is not expandable in any way, so don't expect to just put an SD card in this phone. One of the points that I want to give to Honor is with the thermal management of this processor, because when I was playing Diablo Immortal for something like 20-30 minutes, I didn't experience anything that will lead to some kind of discomfort to my hands when using the phone without any case. It wasn't getting hot, it was just warm. This processor is also so a beastly one in terms of performance so don't expect to have any issues while playing uh, whatever game you are going to throw at this phone no matter if you are going to play Call of Duty Diablo Immortal or Genshin Impact you are going to have a great performance both from the processor and from the screen because of this 120 hertz the interesting thing with the hardware is that honor put a separate chip for the security for storing your passwords for storing your biometrics not that the snapdragon 8 gen 1 didn't have such a feature but honor decided to put their own thing in the magic 4 pro so this is another layer of security which is good news and when talking about security, I have to talk about the face recognition and the fingerprint unlocking feature. For the face recognition, you have a 3D sensor, which will unlock your phone instantaneous, no matter if it is darker, if uh, it is lighter or something like this. I have noticed something like 5% of failed attempts when unlocking the phone with the face recognition, but in these times I was using the fingerprint reader. The fingerprint reader is not optical, like in many other Android smartphones here we have an ultrasonic fingerprint reader which works absolutely great. It instantaneously unlocks the phone and uh, I doubt that you're going to have any issues with it even with a little bit wetter fingers. And I'm unlocking the phone with the fingerprint. I didn't notice any issues at all. The camera system of the Magic 4 Pro is the main sales point in this phone, I think. Here you have a 50 megapixel main camera which outputs a 12 megapixel image and with the combined pixels you have more than 2 micrometers of a pixel size which is absolutely great when talking about uh, the light sensitivity of the sensor. Also you have a 50 megapixel ultra wide sensor which does a great job in my opinion and a beastly 64 megapixel periscope sensor with a 3.5 optical zoom and up to 100 digital zoom. The 100 digital zoom is not the best thing that you can do with this phone because everything looks like an oil painting that you are going to hang somewhere in the loo and uh, I don't think that this is one of the best options that you can go for 100 zoom. But if you are going to use the 3.5x zoom and if you are going to use the 10x zoom, you will be having great results when talking about uh, taking these photos in a good lighting conditions. So now I'm going to leave you some photo samples here so you can decide for yourself if you like the photos or if you don't like them.
Video wise, the Magic 4 Pro is a great machine. It can output 4K 60 FPS from the main cameras and 4K 30 FPS from the front facing 12 megapixel camera. The great thing here is that the stabilization is on a good level, and I have to say that when even shooting from a hand without using any gimbal or stuff, I am having a very nice video coming out from this phone. The other interesting feature is that uh, the guys from Honor actually thought about the people that are filming only with their smartphones and they want a greater flexibility when coming to color grade when coming to uh, profiles and things like this. With this phone you can go into movie mode and again in 4K 60 you can shoot 4K HDR or you can shoot 4K Vlog. So in Vlog you are able to get this nice flat profile that will give you the flexibility of color grading everything the way you want it. Now I'm going to leave you some video samples that are not edited except of the Vlog ones and uh, you're going to decide for yourself if you like them or not. This is a video sample from the front camera of the Honor Magic 4 Pro. 4K, 30 FPS, this is the maximum that you can record with the front camera. But as you can see, the video image is very nice. There is a good dynamic range, the colors are also okay, and the stabilization is on a very good point. So I can give this camera a solid thumbs up for the performance. And now we are going to switch to the main camera. And this is a video sample from the main camera of the Honor Magic 4 Pro, 4K. 30 fps as here you can record maximum at 60 fps here you don't have 8k and such uh, crazy things that no one is going to use here you have a great image with nice colors also you have a very good dynamic range and the stabilization is ois on the main sensor so you won't be having any shaking issues and such i'm holding the phone right now with my hand i'm not using a gimbal or anything like this so you can see how good the stabilization performs even in a motion the ultra-wide sensor is something that I like very much in the Honor Magic 4 Pro because it gives you such a nice uh, view angles, it gives you also a very nice video quality in terms of color, in terms of uh, shadows, in terms of uh, highlights, so in this case the dynamic range is very nice also on this sensor. I like that there is a consistency between the main sensor and the ultra-wide sensor, so this is a big thumbs up for the video performance of the phone. The front-facing 12 megapixel camera is absolutely great when taking photos outdoors and even when taking photos indoors with a little bit of a lower light. As I mentioned at the beginning of the video, Honor is no more a Huawei-owned company, so here you don't don't have the restrictions that are coming from the US. Here you don't have the lack of Google services. Here you have Google Play, here you have Google Sheets, Google Maps, whatever Google you are going to use, like a normal Android phone. Here you have Google services. Also, it is coming with Android 12 with Magic UI 6.0. This is the shell that Honor put on their phone. And if you are familiar with previous generations of Huawei phones and Honor phones, you are going to understand what I'm talking about with the interface. This is a very user-friendly interface. This is a very simple interface that will give you the flexibility of uh, making everything the way you want. The whole settings menu is very easy understandable you won't be having any issues finding the options that you want to change you're having some teams customization options you are having some icon packs that you can change on this phone and uh, the other things that you have always on screens that you can change again from the display settings you have some stationary always ons you have also always ons that are moving which are with an image like in my case i'm using an always one with a polar bear because why not polar bears are cool and uh, they are almost extinct so we have to save them. Overall, the software is good. I cannot complain that much, but I can complain and I will complain. And I'm complaining because I have seen some bugs here and there. I have seen some issues. I have seen some issues with uh, the camera software. I have seen some issues with the animations that are a little bit glitchy. This is not something that I enjoy very much when talking about a phone in this price range. I know that Honor are going to fix all of these issues with uh, future software updates. And I hope that these updates are actually coming very soon. The software issues are not so something that is present uh, in a day-to-day -day use. They're occurring here and there, but I don't want to have them at all. I want a very stable Android system and I want it to be working very well as it should be for this price. The battery is not the strongest part of the Magic 4 Pro. Here we have a 4600 milliamp hours of battery and uh, it will last you about a day. If you go out with your phone at around 8 a.m., you have to charge it when you get back home because on the next morning uh, you won't be having that much of a 
battery. The great thing here is that you have an included in the package charger, which is something that is going extinct right now with the premium segment and with the flagman segment, as we see with Samsung phones, as we see with iPhones previously. Here you have 100 watts of wired charger that will top up your battery in 30 minutes. It will top up your battery from 0 to 130 minutes. And if you don't like cords, you can go wireless. You can buy Honor's wireless charger, which is again, 100 watts so you can charge your phone with uh, this thing very easy and also it has a reverse charging which is only 5 watts but it will do the job for charging your smartwatch for example or your earbuds so the battery is not one of the best that you can get right now on the market but the charging and the fact that you have an included charger in the package is on the good side of things Overall, I can give something like 9 out of 10 for the Honor Magic 4 Pro and I'm taking points because of the fact that the software is not on the best level that it should be, in my opinion. I have seen some glitches with the animations and with the cameras, uh, which are going to be fixed, I suppose, with future software updates, but uh, I have to take the point. There's no other way. I have to make the unbiased rating system for every single product that I'm reviewing. I didn't experience any other issues with the phone when talking about day-to-day -day use, when talking about power usage, or when talking about watching some video content or playing some games. Everything was buttery smooth, everything was running absolutely great. As I told you earlier in the review, I'm in love with the speakers and with the screen. These are one of the best that you are going to get in the green world, and uh, in my opinion, this is worth the shot. I have a question for you. What is your opinion about Honor phones and are you willing to buy an Honor phone now that you know it is not part of Huawei and now that it has some Google services? Write it down below in the comments. I'm curious to see what is your thought about this. Thank you for watching this video. If you like it, if you find it useful, smash the thumbs up button, sub to the channel, don't forget to ring the bell icon so you can receive notifications for upcoming reviews and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.